I'll be honest. As a senior executive who's now done over 200 free mock interviews in the last few years, I was surprised I didn't catch this one missing piece of information from the vast majority of interviews that I was doing. Candidates will start their answers and will leave out this one piece of information, which dramatically changes how I, as the interviewer, am evaluating that answer. Candidates are so eager to jump into their answers that they're forgetting to tell me who they are. What do I mean by that? Well, most candidates will refer to a time period or maybe even a company when they're answering a question, but they forget to tell me what were they doing at the company? So you tell me, can you spot the difference between? Yeah, that's a good question. Let me tell you about a time that I was working at Microsoft back in 2015. And yeah, that's a great question. Uh, I think what I'm going to talk about is when I was a senior director of Windows Phone Developer Platform Product Management, uh, where my responsibilities were building out the developer ecosystem for the Windows Phone platform. You're making it harder on me, the interviewer, if I have to constantly be thinking, well, what, what was their role? What was their level? What were they responsible for? Like, what is reasonable for them to have done? I'm going to ask harder questions to a more senior person than I would a more junior person. Why? Well, because the more senior you are, the more I'm going to probe and really understand, you know, at what level of competency were you doing the job? This small tweak can really change the way you and the interviewer are interacting during your interview. You want it to feel like a conversation. What you don't want it to feel like is an interrogation. What you don't want to have it feel like is they are struggling to keep up with all of the information that's coming out of your mouth while you're answering the question with them trying to figure out, well, what's important? What do I need to pay attention to? What were they doing? How did this map to what their role was? At the time? Simplify it by at the front telling them what role you were in, what level, what you were working on, and then you can go into your story. The general purpose of your interview is to progress through a linear storytelling format of what you did, the beginning, the middle, the end, your situation, task, action, result, for those of you who love the star format. But in doing that, you need to set yourself up as the protagonist. You overcame obstacles. You and your team delivered results. Something happened, something great, and now you're living in a better world because of it. But you have to present yourself as the protagonist in the story so that I understand what obstacles you overcame because I'm interviewing you to determine if you can do the job and the role at this company and excel. Make my job as the interviewer easier by helping me out at the front end of your answers. And again, every story you tell is likely from a different point on your resume. So it's okay to clearly state what your role was, general level, what you were responsible for. Do that, you're making my job a whole lot easier.